friend, Naturally Rhonda here for all my old time subscribers. I love you, love you so, so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, please stay a while and check out some of my other content. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please click that button down below and subscribe. So today I am coming at you with another twist out video. This time I am featuring products from Luster's Pink. I will be using their Repair and Strengthen Natural Oil Moisturizing Lotion. And I'm pairing that with the Hold and Shine Perfecting Gel. Now, Normally, when I come with a combo leave-in and a gel, I'm doing a wash and go. But I was looking at the packaging on this and it really wasn't given the type of hold that I need for a wash and go. So I'm like, so I decided, nope, let me just go for a twist out. So that's what we're gonna do. My hair is already shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned, and detangled and as you can see i sectioned it off already too 12 twists all together so nothing too crazy these products actually came in a recent curl box i'm not sure exactly which curl box it was so i'll leave that somewhere on the screen but this curl box did not come with um shampoo or conditioner first things first my handy dandy spray bottle of water I love to apply my products to wet hair. I feel like they honestly perform a lot better when my hair is nice and wet. I'm gonna work that in. So the shampoo that I used was um, a shampoo that I've never used before, but I've heard so many people talk about it. It is the, so this is what the lotion looks like. Seems pretty standard. Oh, it's thick. That's good. But um, it was the tea tree and tingling shampoo from Trader Joe's. I've heard so many people here on YouTube talk about that shampoo. And I finally got to try it. So my thoughts, honestly, it was cool. It definitely gives that tingling feeling on your scalp which is nice however if you haven't used that shampoo before and you are not a fan of that squeaky squeaky clean feeling then this is not the shampoo for you because my hair definitely had that squeaky clean very very clarifying like that shampoo does strip your hair of everything so if you use that shampoo you want to make sure that you follow up with a moisturizing deep conditioner after you condition and detangle all of that follow up with a very moisturizing deep conditioner and give that conditioner some time to work in your hair adding heat is even better it was really giving me eden body works's peppermint and tea tree oil um shampoo it was giving me those type of vibes. But that one isn't as drying as the Trader Joe's one. This leave-in, it has an interesting smell to it. I can't put my finger on exactly what it is, but it's interesting. Okay, so I just ran my Felicia, Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush through my hair to really distribute this leave-in. And now I'm going in with the gel. Hmm, this gel is thick. They characterize this gel as a daily gel, which made me think, okay, no, that's not for wash and goes, at least not for my hair. It is starting to weigh my hair down. Hmm. So who knows, maybe this gel could have done a wash and go for me. Maybe some other time. Anyways, I'm using the same technique that I normally would when I apply gel for my wash and goes. I'm just not using as much. So I think that's a nice amount of both leave-in and gel. I'm gonna try to get two even sections and start twisting. Okay. 
All right, and this is what my first twist is looking like. These are my first two twists, and I'm just gonna keep going, and I will be back when it's time to untwist. All right, I'm back to take down my twists. I'm gonna be using the natural oil blends from the same line. This also came in that curl box. My takedown process is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna put some oil in my hands. Hmm, I like this smell. And this oil has a nice thickness to it. I like to run the oil down the length of the twist and then very carefully separate. I find my twist outs have more definition when I'm intentional about separating my hair and then I'm going to separate the pieces a little more to give myself some more volume. And this is how the first twist came out. All right, y'all, I'm back. As you can see, my hair is all out and these are my finished results. I am really feeling this. The back, I think, is a little wonky because for whatever reason, my hair didn't completely dry. Like, it's been how many days? And my hair is playing games. Again, I forgot to take off my glasses. So I know that I've been MIA for a minute. It was a much needed break. Honestly, I started to get way too wrapped up in likes and subscribers and followers and insights and all of this. It got to the point where I lost sight of the reason I even started doing this to begin with. I was questioning my self-worth based on insights based on likes based on subscribers and all that when those are things that i never put too much value in i love natural hair i have a passion for it and i know i'm no beautician i'm no hair expert at all i didn't go to school for this but i know a little something something and i enjoy sharing that knowledge with all of you but it's all good i feel renewed I feel invigorated, I feel refreshed. So get ready, cause I'm back. I love you for watching, y'all please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.